Let's there we go. Okay, cool. Are we ready? Is it recording? It is. Yes. Yep. Yes, yes, recording. yes. So welcome to our Tuesday night training, our team training, which we have several um, different side teams on here. But every Tuesday night, I get to host this training. Um, actually, it's every four weeks it goes around. But um, Stephanie Wood, who is an executive on our team, Don Abbott, who is a silver director on our team, Leslie Olau, who's in Indiana, a, a uh, executive as well. And then I'm a silver director. And every Tuesday, we get together and we do a training topic or we select someone who we believe can add just by their sh story, you know, add value. And every journey is different, although our journeys really are quite similar, um, but our journeys in many ways are different. And so this lovely lady, I have known her, I have seen her, well, she's been, I'll let her share her story, but she came in in, in 2012 which is exactly when I came in. And I love that people who go to events, you get to know them, you get to see them, you sit with them at lunch, you go to XLC together. Mm -hmm. um, and I continue to see Stacy everywhere I go. And so we've become friends, you know, it's like that is one thing about Zingular is that we lock arms, link arms with other um builders and other people who are sharing our business and we share what's working. So this lady it reminds me of my niece. Like she looks exactly like Shelby and I love Shelby. And so every time I see Stacy, um, I always have that connection with her. I saw her in Vegas. We connected and I said, would you please share your story, share your journey, because it's a great one um, with our team. So she lives in Pensacola, Florida. Her last name is Garrett, G-A-R-R-E-T-T. -T. She is a director. And I would love for you just to share with the team your journey, and then some of the things that we chatted about today would be awesome. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I'm happy to. Hey, everybody. I've met a few of you guys, so I'm glad to see your faces and all the new faces. Um, like Tammy said, I started Zingular in 2012. So 2012, um, for weight loss, there was a young lady I met. She was a military wife I'd met online. I'm not sure why. Um, I think I was buying some hair bows from someone from her. But anyway, I got started with Zingular then and I went on, I ended up losing 50 pounds and I knew that I loved the company. I would get on the training calls with Freddie and, and everybody. And, um, I think I was somewhere down his lines at that point. Uh, I, I have no idea. I don't remember, but I, I used the products for probably about eight to 11 months, somewhere around there. I had about 13 people under me at the time because I came in as a distributor too. I knew that if work, if it worked for me, it would work for other people. They were all family and friends who trusted me and I couldn't keep up with it. I ended up losing that 50 pounds and I kept it off for probably about two years um, even not taking the products because I learned how to do other things, eat and had a different relationship with food at the time. Um, I was living in Columbus, Georgia at the time where my family lives and, you know, things just started happening, money issues, all the things I started putting on the weight again. I knew that I couldn't afford to get back on Zingular and I just wasn't willing to do the work back then. Well, I get, you know, and so that's the thing. I knew that we had this system. I knew we had it. I ended up moving back down to Florida in 2016. And um, I, I'm a hairstylist. So I've had my license for 23 years. And I moved back down to Florida where my husband's from, Pensacola. And I started back in the salon full time. I started making more money, but I started eating on the fly. I don't know if you guys know about that, if, if any of your careers do look like that. Um, and I quickly found myself the heaviest I'd ever been by 2020. Um, pandemic start happened in 2020. Uh, I 
we moved out of our house and bought a camper and decided to do that full time because everything looked a little crazy. We didn't own the house. We were renting. The guy wanted to sell it. So long story short, I, for the first time in my life, my career was shut down. And instead of getting out there, trying to figure out what else to do, I turned to wine and food and, you know, had a good old time. So I put on even more weight. Um, and I didn't know it at the time I got, I, I became very unhealthy, more unhealthy at that point in my life than I had ever been. And I got COVID, got sick, got in, the, put in the hospital in June of 2020. Um, when I got out, I knew that I, it was by the grace of God that I made it out alive. There was no reason that I should have going in as bad off as I was. I wanted to find out, you know, I kind of made a deal with God. Okay. I got to get out of here. I need to find out what's going on. Why did I get so sick? Found out I, I was pre-diabetic. I was obese and I had, um, a vitamin deficiency, which I think a lot of us did that got really sick with it. I didn't know. I had no idea. So knowing that all about Zingular, I still didn't turn to Zingular right away. I went back to work seven weeks later. Um, I couldn't stand on my feet two to five hours a day, let alone, you know, 10 hours like I was used to doing. I'd lost a hunk of clients. Um, and then more were leaving because I just couldn't do the hours anymore. I found myself very extremely depressed. I had to have some biopsies done, thought I had cancer, lost over half of my hair, probably two thirds of my hair, cut it all off because I had no hair. You could see my scalp. And I thought, okay, enough is enough. You know, and on top of that, I was separated from my husband because of all the things. So we had separated the week I started Zingular. Started Zingular, I went to a family reunion and automatically I, you know, I called Calla. That's who I called because I'd been following her. And I, uh, and I said, you know, maybe she'll answer. And she did. Got my products, started them in the end of September, the first eight days I was on a trip. I'd went to my family reunion and I'm Southern. So, you know, they had fried chicken and all the things, but I had the products to support my eight day jumpstart. I was not going to fail. I came home. I lost 10 pounds and seven inches. I went on to lose, um, 60 inches, but in the meantime, holy smokes, this is my, this is how I'm going to help people. Cause all I've ever wanted to do was help people. That's why I love doing hair. I was either going to be a CSI investigator, a nurse, or a hairstylist. So I picked the less school. <laughs> Ended up being the right choice. Um, and I had made a lot of money doing hair. I still was making a lot of money. But I wasn't fulfilled. I wasn't happy. So I started sharing about the products with anybody who would listen, really. I started going live immediately. I wasn't scared of it. And I wanted everybody to feel as great as I did. And in my first month, I ended up ranking up to like gold manager or something like that. Signed up 20 people. Uh, my second month, I, I hit platinum manager. Third month, I earned the trip. And by the fourth month, I earned founders club trip. And I had hit extreme builder. I didn't know a thing about what I was doing. I didn't know I have a clue. All I knew was every waking moment that I wasn't doing hair, taking care of my family. I wanted to help other people get on these products and feel as good as I did. And so that's what I was doing. I had in one month, I think I had like six managers happen that month because I just did everything Calla told me to do. She said, okay, put, put people in chats. I put people in chats. I was very coachable and I didn't know that's what I was being, but I was. And, um, you know, before long, I, had these managers and civil managers, I needed to, to coach and train and I didn't know how to do that. I had no idea. And so I was doing all the work for them. I was following up with everybody. I didn't have a vision of where I wanted to go other than I wanted to get that, you know, those trips. I wanted the trips. I wanted to, to go to headquarters first. And I had already earned that. I did the Founders Club trip. I I was up for an extreme builder. I mean, uh, not extreme builder, a a business builder awards that spring. And I went to Kansas city. Um, I had already 
done Zingfest that year, 2020, online. Remember, it was online that year. So I, I did that. It was on my birthday and my grandson's first birthday. But you know what? I still plugged in. I had the my earbuds in and I was watching him open his presents because it was very important to me already a month in. So what I wanted to say with all of this is I had that vision. I had the vision of helping all the people that I could. It became very quickly my biggest purpose in life. And I felt like that's what I was called to do um, was help people um, emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially, and all the things. It wasn't just making pretty people, you know, anymore. It was all the inside things too. And I, 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 I almost think that I can't, I became obsessed with it to the point where I got burned out. I hit director in January or February or something um, of 2021. So it was really fast. I earned the, the trip for director's invitational and I had already met Kala and so many other people in Kansas City. Um, I think it was Lacey Fran. She invited everybody. We all got together and we went to her barn. So I was sold now on the company too. I was sold on the products for a long time, but I was sold on the company because of what they were doing for people. They they literally had us walk across stage because we couldn't go to Zine Fling and was given awards. I don't know if any of you guys were there for that, but it was so amazing to me that they would take the time to invite so many people. I was just a little girl from Pensacola. Nobody knew me. And they had me up there. And then I see my face. I had no idea I was up for an extreme builder. I didn't even know what that was. And now it's, it was, you know, now I know. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's such an honor. <laughs> but I was sold on the company. I hit director and I knew that I never, I never wanted to go back. And I, I didn't want to go back to the life I was living, the unhealthy eating, the unhealthy lifestyle, all my relationships had changed and I didn't want to go back with, I didn't want to leave the people that I had met and become friends with and now are my family. And um, what happened next was, I think something that you guys might be able to relate to. I didn't have a vision anymore. I didn't know where else I wanted to go with the company. I had helped all my family and friends. I mean, literally everybody I knew, I felt like personally was on the products. It's several, like over 150 people. I didn't know where I wanted to go. I hit director. I wrote it down every single day in my um, planner. I wrote it down. And when I hit it, I was like, okay, I'm done. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And then I went to XLC after my headquarters trip. I just knew that I wanted to be in this company. I didn't know what else to do. So I went to XLC and uh, my daughter, my oldest daughter went with me. And I knew then that what I wanted to do was build a legacy for my family. I wanted them to go with me and um, to have a residual income so that I didn't have to continue to work in the hair industry. A lot of things had happened. Um, and so I'd made up my mind at XLC, I was going to retire from hair and do this full time. So... I came back and I told my boss I was retiring. So I retired September 1st of 2021, uh, one year after starting Zingular. And then I quit working Zingular because I was like, dang, you know, I've got all these people. We got all these, It's we're having fun still. I was going and having lunch with my daughter. She was my business partner. We're having a great time. I still didn't have a vision of where I wanted to go. I just wanted to have fun and help people. I didn't earn Founders Club in 2021. I didn't, I didn't do that. I, I, I'd earned the one for 2020. Um, I wasn't on a roll for it at that time. And I quit working. And Calla said, oh, shoot, busy people keep working. And I was like, dang, you didn't tell me? I, I wouldn't have retired yet. I would have kept going. I wasn't to my goal. So now comes Founders Club. I get over in Punta Cana, I got COVID. So I missed half of my trip, but I still loved every minute of it. And, and it just reconfirmed what this company had done for me and was going to do for me and who they were to me. I never even knew I needed a village until I found my village. And it's all of you guys. I don't have not one person on my team 
that started with me in the beginning. The people that are with me now are new, brand new. My daughter's not even doing the business anymore because she compared herself to me. She compared herself to other people and she's, and so she stopped doing it and is working on herself and her family. And I'm, I'm so proud of her for that. And it's all about timing, but not one person, not one of those. I don't know how many 14, 15 people that had ranked up on my team are with me, not one. And so what I want to say is you got to know where you're going First of all, you can't do everything for everybody. We already established that. I think all of y'all know that. You guys are executives and directors and above. But you have to keep painting the vision for your life. And after Punta Cana, I decided that I was going to get serious, and I did. I enrolled in Eric Worre's program, and for three months, I buckled down, and I found my, my I called my golden egg, my my person who ranked up to platinum manager in two months, hit extreme builder, went to Zing Fling. I thought, oh my gosh, in two months, she'll be director. And, and then another person on her team's going to be, you know, all these things. I had all this vision. I still did not paint the picture completely of where I wanted to go. And I know that that has where, that's what led to the big valley that I've been in. I almost did not even go to Zingfling this year. I booked my trip two days before I left. And you know why I went? I'm going to tell you because Kala texted me and she said, what time do you get in? I had been to Zingfling and Zingfest and XLC and to every single thing that I was invited to from day one. And I said, I'm not going. She said, what? do you mean you're not going? I know you're going. You always go. You're not going to not go. And I said, I just don't know if I can right now. I've got all these things. And I became the person that I swore I would never become. And I quit on myself and I almost didn't go. So I went to, I, I, I talked to my husband. He said, well, we're going to sit down and we're going to look at plane tickets tonight. And I said, what do you mean? We're not going to pay that money. Do you know how much my ticket was? $954 from Florida to to Vegas. And I don't drink and I don't gamble. So it wasn't about a party for me. It was a family reunion. I needed to be there to connect with my people, to get refocused. And that's what I've been doing. I have two more new team members that came on. Um, one's hit her quick start. One's got one person with a link out right now. And I am going, I am going back to what I know I need to do. That's what I'm going to do. Um, sorry, I didn't turn my notifications off and people are trying to send me cash. I don't know what that's about, but what I, I but what I'm saying is, and I don't know if I'm rambling because I do that sometimes my brain goes all over the place. I had to go and stay committed to myself. I will never not miss. I will never miss a, an event. I had committed that to myself and I almost did it. I almost failed myself. I didn't though. And that's what counts. And if you ha if you didn't go to Zing Fling, that's okay. Because you know what? Zing Fest is, is coming up. And I've mm -hmm. already been to uh, Kentucky. Where are we going? To Louisville? I've already been. Louisville. It's, yeah. it's a beautiful place. It's not about the places for me. It's about meeting up with you guys. And meeting all my other friends too. And, and so I don't know if you guys were on that leadership training with Kala. If any of y'all were on that. And she said, she wanted us to write our story of a moment that we envisioned for our life. I wrote the story and she had me read mine and I'm going to go read it again tonight. That's what I'm going to do. But if I, if I could tell y'all that when I wrote that story, I envisioned myself walking on the stage. And I mean, I saw the crystal chandeliers and all the things and who was with me, what I was wearing. And, and I was going for my executive award for, for earning that. And that is the vision that I had that I wrote this story and I forgot it this last year, mm -hmm. the last six months. I don't, I don't know where I went. I you know, feel sorry for myself. You know, I lost my person that I thought was really going to go and my daughter, you know, and 
you want it so bad for them and you know they can do it and you f- you you feel bad you you get down on yourself but what i what i know is especially after hearing freddie and maddie last uh, night is that you just have to get back to who you are remember your vision remember your why my biggest why is my time with my daughter who's 14 i have two grown children and my grandchildren spending time with them i couldn't do that before. I never went to a field trip with my other two children. And now I've been on every single thing where she's kind of telling me I need to stay home. (laughs) She's like (laughs) over it. She was able to play two sports at the same time. I know my why. I've never lost sight of that. I just forgot the vision of where I'm going. Mm -hmm. I love that. I do love that. I like, I've, I've been taking notes about painting the vision for others in painting the vision for ourselves, because like we talked about, um, our why changes and to be up, you know, to be current with that because we're in different seasons of life. And I know I've talked about that with my team, that there's different seasons of life and, and we're always entering into a new season. And you shared like a beautiful story about your daughter today. You're the 14 year old, but you weren't able to do as much with the other children just because you were in a different season of life. So I liked how you talked about having a plan is so important for yourself and for others. Self-development, we talked a lot about that. And then painting the vision for others and then painting the vision for ourselves through self-development. So um, I just, I love that. And I love that it hasn't been just a, a ride. You've gone up and you've gone down and you've gone up and you've gone down, but you've found truths on your journey. Like I'm not going anywhere. I am not going anywhere. I love the community. I love the products. I love what we have. I love the family. And so, and that's, what's kept me here in times of, of, of the lows is find what you love and hold on until you're on the climb up. And what I love too about Freddie and Maddie last night is they talked about talking to people. We've gone, you and I talked about that today, like going back to, since we're not in COVID anymore, going back to that personal connection, hitting their pain points, finding what they need. And you're beautiful at that because being a hairdresser, you're used to listening. You know, that skill set is there for you. So I want to thank you so much for sharing your story with us. And is there anything in closing? And people also may have questions, but anything like any points for your business that you want to touch on or anything that's really hit you that is, you know, really resonated in your heart that you want to share with our team of your 12 year journey? Well, you know, I think because it does come easy to me because I was a hairstylist and I taught service and, you know, trained people on the most important things. Percent is personality. 20% is technical. Keep it simple. And I, I know that I do better when I am just who I've always been. And, you know, talking to people in the grocery store is not a problem for me. Going to the coffee shop and talking to people on the plane, you know, I had two people become customers on a plane. You know, I don't have a problem doing that. But if you do, um, just stepping out of your comfort zone just a little bit if you can and and maybe try something like that where you could, you know, even if you're you're comfortable online but not in person, pre- pretend you're talking to one person when you, you know, go online, just act like talking to you. Like I have a friend, she wrote a, um, some bestseller. In fact, the, her second one just came out. She was a Mary Kay and she was a million dollar earner and um, God laid it on her heart to write a book. And long story short, Mary Kay didn't want her to do that. So she quit Mary Kay and was making a lot of money, had a free car, all the things that she writes in her book to, you know, keep, keep your life simple your heart, you know, if it's not 
you know, things not working for you, like say boards and all the things, you know, it worked for a minute. Um, but if it's not working, just act and follow your heart. Like what does work for you? Do, do you need to get back in person? I know I do. Um, I, I built this, you know, this beautiful office. Um, I don't want to be in there. <laughs> I want to go. I want to go meet people because that's what I do. So if that's who you are, don't try to be like X, Y, Z, and just do all your stuff online. You know, call up your friends, go have lunch. I have a friend who um, she literally will go in a store, and she will say, "Hey, I I, I don't really know what size I am because I just lost forty pounds." How smart is that? Like you're talking to the person in the store saying they want to know how you did that. I mean, if that yeah. works for you. That works for her. So I, I'm just saying like, maybe get back. Whatever works for you. What works for me is just being out there. I, I wear a lot of Zingler swag. I have probably had 20 people ask me what the X is. And mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I love that hat what is that X for? And I've had customers start from just that. And, you know, that's kind of who I am. I wear a lot of hot pink. People want to know why I wear hot pink. That's just my, that's my aura color. I don't know. That's what, who I am. So building your brand and just being authentic to who you are and getting and being, staying true to that. Cause I felt like I was just trying to like go and, oh my gosh, I don't even know what this board is. Now there's a new board and I need to send the the, the what grocery list. I don't even know if it's called a grocery list. What is that thing? <laughs> it's not who I am. So I'm not doing it. So I had a lot of team members come on, get their quick start, or maybe they didn't. And I didn't, and didn't go anywhere else because I didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. I was trying to do what everybody else was doing. So now I'm just getting back to the basics, getting on the phone with people. Hey, I want to talk to them. I'm very good at selling myself because like I said, I did it for a hundred years. I was on stage 21 years to be exact, but I was on stage every day of my life. I got real good at asking people questions to get them so I could, you know, style the hair around their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So we, I just have to do that. So whatever it is for you, maybe you're a teacher. So you know how to teach, but I do, but I don't know. I just think that was something that kind of hit me today. It was like, what am, I, what am I doing sitting in this house, getting online all the time when how I built my business was in a salon every day, talking to people. Mm -hmm. And that's a good thing is we are is going awesome? back to that. We're, we're going back to that. And that's what worked for so many years. So I just want to thank you so much, Stacy, for jumping on, for sharing your 12 year journey with us. Um, you're welcome to stay on because I'm going to finish up with some announcements for the team. Um, but I want I want to thank you so much. Does anyone have any questions for Stacy before she either stays on or jumps off? Any questions? Nope. Thank you so much for sharing tonight with us. I appreciate you and I can't wait to see you at XLC and at Fest. Thank you, guys. It's so good seeing you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Thank you so much, Stacy. Okay, guys. I was, um, can you guys hear me okay? Okay, good. Well, because sometimes the internet, it is so weird. Anyway, we have so much exciting stuff coming up, you guys. Like, I try to just put certain things in my thread as they go in order so it doesn't get all clogged up for all of our team threads. Um, but one of the things I was just reading about is the Super Saturday, which is going to be several of the leaders. There's many top leaders, but there's some selected leaders that they have picked. It's going to be on Saturday, May 20th. For me here on the on the West Coast, it's from 8 to 11. So Mountain is 9 to 12. So it's a three-hour span. And what they did is they did put out some of the topics that are going to be talked about. And I just, I could relate. I just wrote a couple down, but progress, not perfection. You have to show up to go up. Um, you know, stay connected. 
um, self-reflection on your business or self-reflect, creating your business story. So there's going to be all different things that are going to be taught on that Saturday. So make sure you put it on your calendar so that you can be a part of that. So much of the time, like I know for me, when I'm connected, I'm a part of the tribe. I'm not on the outskirts and I don't feel alone for the highs and the lows. And I also get to celebrate a whole heck of a lot with you guys. So stay connected and, you know, you have to show up to go up and, and winners are those that stick around through the highs and the lows. Um, Cause that's where we grow. I was telling, and I think I've shared this before. I was sharing with probably both of my boys at different times when you're on a high you're just on a high. You don't really grow. You're comfortable. You're happy. Um, but if you, when you're down in the valley, that's where you grow and you, you know, you become coachable. You become teachable, um, and you're also I don't want to say humbled, but um, you're receptive to feedback. So I, I, it's a journey of life. It's a journey of Zingular or baseball or whatever. So stay coachable and um, stay hungry for what we have because staying in the pack is where it's at. And then we also have, um, uh, and I don't, I, I don't want to put Steph on the spot because I didn't write down all the criteria, but we're doing something new this month, you guys. We're doing something new in the month of May that we've never done. It's going to be a monthly recognition um, and it's from the previous month of um, things that we would like people to do who are plugged in, who are growing their business, who are suiting up and showing up to this training, if you can. I realize some people work, but also other trainings. And I have faltered there. I know Dawn is really good about getting on Monday night. But you know what? Last night I got on. I got on because, in fact, I want to stay plugged in. And so already I see some changed behavior in myself. Um, and then one enrollment a month. Of course, we want more than that. But that is one of the criteria. Getting out of your comfort zone, doing things that, in fact, you it pushes you so you're not comfortable um, the whole time. And then also cheering other people on. And if I miss something, Stephanie or Dawn, you know, chime in on it. But, you know, cheering other people on as they go along their journey. And it's a big deal and it's exciting and it's something we're doing and also with Terry Bryant's team. So we have our team, which has different legs, and now we're even collaborating and, and locking arms more with our big team so that we're all under one umbrella, so to speak. And then also there's going to be trainings that people are going to be not required, but to bring forward ideas. We're all leaders. And so, you know, we're a leader. And then pretty soon when we start sharing and talking and, and taking on that role, that's how we grow. We do not grow by staying quiet. We grow by um, getting out of ourselves and contributing. And even Freddie said that last night, he said, he was great one-on-one, -on -one, but in a group, he was a little bit quieter. And that was probably self-esteem stuff. So that's something that he had to work on. So it's a big deal. Truly, it's just working your business. Um, so plug into your leader um, it, to find out what that criteria is and how that you can be honored and be given an invitation the following month for a training and then also be acknowledged. So anyone want to wrap up something? Is there anything Stephanie or Tammy or Dawn? I don't know if Les is on. I don't see her. Okay. Um, is there anything that you guys wanted to cover? We got a little quiet group tonight. Oh, there I, goes Steph. You did an awesome job explaining and it, it's really so, I just want to say it's hard to it's hard to look at all those points because you want to say, oh, this, you know, they showed up, they showed up. You want to check those boxes, but this is an elite group that is exceptional in showing up. They don't just show up They're, You know, you're, 
you are exceeding every checkpoint, right? You are stepping outside of your comfort zone. You are a team player. You have an incredible, like we don't, I mean, obviously we can't all eat sunshine for breakfast, but for the most part, you're always looking for ways that you can take your business to the next level. This is elite runners, like people who are running, like they are doing their IPAs because quite honestly, if you're not doing your IPAs, it shows, right? Mm -hmm. You're doing your IPAs, you're plugging in, you're showing up, you're being a team player, you're doing all the things, you are signing people up, you are building a business. And like, just going back to it, it's really hard because we have such amazing, you know, such an amazing team. And I truly love every single person where you're at. And this elite runners circle may not be your lens of success, right? Mm -hmm. So I love going back to what Stacy said her, she had to go back to what her vision. Yeah, we could all say, oh, it would be nice to earn an executive income. But you have to look at that lifestyle. That yeah. lifestyle is you are showing up every day, you are working your business and you are helping others do the same. You're leading by example. You are not sitting back and watching everybody else work and hoping that everybody else is going to work while you don't. You are in the trenches, you are working, you are doing it. And so um, this is, you know, it's not for everybody. So don't, um, I just want to keep the spirits high. This is kind of like a founder's club. Like, you know, I really made a valid attempt to it, you know, last year, but I didn't earn it because I didn't meet the qualifications for it. And this is kind of the same thing. Like, I think we rise up when we know when some, of, some of us rise up when we really want to push ourselves. So I just want to encourage y'all and I love y'all where you're at and appreciate everybody and your lens of success has to be, it, maybe it isn't the elite runners. So don't beat yourself up. But if it is and you, you really want to be a part of that, look at those um, points that we went over and go after it. I'm rising up more than ever because I want I, I don't want at the end of the day to say, you know what, I, I wasn't elite, like I just showed up, you know what I mean? I need to rise up too. So um, anyways, I hope that helps. If anybody has any questions, please reach out. Um, but I'll just throw it back to you, Tammy, or Tammy Kashanova, or Dawn, if you have anything to add that I missed. And Leslie is on. She I just didn't recognize because she's on a different device, but she is on. So Leslie, if you want to chime in. But one thing I wanted to say on that is, let's just say you, you did, like last month you didn't. Every month it's a new group. You guys, every month it's a new group. Sometimes life gets in our way. Sometimes we're vacationing. It's just like, yeah, you know what? I didn't show up, but that's okay. It's not like you can't be in the elite runners group the next month. You know what I mean? So it every single month it changes. So, you know, look through your own lens of success because you're a winner. So Dawn, did you want to say anything or Leslie or Tammy? Um, I just wanted to kind of, talk about the Meltdown group going on right now. Everybody's doing amazing. I am so proud of everybody for jumping in and the posts. If you aren't interacting and sharing, please get in there and start doing that. Please show everybody, you know, this is all about in the community. Even if you don't have any customers in there, you know, get in there and cheer the other people on and just give them a lot of these people that are in there, I think is what I'm what I'm grasping a hold are people that have fallen off and have gotten back re-engaged. So we need to show them the support, um, the support of the group. And I've had, I, I talked to um, a lady today, I got another call for tomorrow and they're just, they love the group. They absolutely love this group. And it's been so helpful for a lot of them. Um, so I'm just super proud of everybody that's chiming in and that's, you know, pulling their weight. It's great. I love it. Thank you very, very, very much. Um, we are going to take up a donation of 10 bucks if you can and do a grand finale prize at the end of the month. Um, and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a cool, it's going to be a cool prize for them to have to do it. It's going to benefit you as a distributor. 
as well. So I'm super excited about that. Um, right. Um, so anyway, so just keep that in mind. You can keep inviting. If you've got people, keep inviting them to the group. I mean, it, it's not it's not a big deal. So I just want to give my my little opinion on on what how that all is all going. It's going great. Thank you for spearheading awesome. it and taking the lead, Don. Freaking yeah. rock star. You are. So, hey, so, yeah, I don't know what happened to my Zoom. Uh, it just shows my iPhone. It doesn't show my name. Um, and I jumped in here late because I was on another call. Um, but, Don, what? where do you want us to send that money uh, to? So, if you'll put it in that group um, oh, well. so that we have that. Uh, so we can mm -hmm. gather up so we know how much we have and get that cool prize. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, you know, you guys, it is, and sometimes it is, life has been really rough. Um, and sometimes, you know, put, you know, putting our blinders on and, and like focusing again. And I had a great mentor call with uh, Stephanie the other day and uh, really kind of screwed my head back on. So, if you guys need to talk to someone or if you guys want to do a mentor call with your upline or, you know, maybe just get, you know, you know, get an idea as far as um, even a devotional or, uh, you know, uh, uh, develop personal development, those kind of things. Sometimes we just need though. Sometimes we need each other. Sometimes we just need each other to pull ourselves out of, all the things that are going on in life. So um, I'm, that's all I'm going to say. And I, and you're right, Tammy uh, and Stephanie, Dawn is doing an amazing job. And, you know, anytime we need something, she goes, Dawn's like, I'll jump in there. I'll jump in there. I'll do this. I'll do that. And Dawn, you're just a rock star. I know that you had a tough day yesterday and uh, seeing that on Facebook, I, you know, it's like, oh girl. But you always you always come back and you're always there strong and super, super proud of you. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't know how to work my phone on Zoom to get it to like not mute and all that. That's why it took me so long to kind of like jump in here. <laughs> it's like I have no idea how to get out. So I'm going to just quit talking. You're good. <laughs> well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up unless I, I see it. Well, Tammy, I think's cooking dinner, um, but Dawn's talked and, and Steph has and Leslie, you guys, a um, lot of exciting stuff going on. So just stay connected. Don't be alone. You know, don't be on the outskirts because um, we're all here for each other. Thanks for letting me host tonight. I appreciate it. I'm going to stop the recording. Let's see how that works out. Let's just see. I don't know. It said start recording. It's oh maybe.